Hey, hi. Welcome back from our second break. <laughs> uh, there are no breaks in Bossing Say. <laughs> there are no breaks in Bossing Say. Not everything works. The the Earthnet. I don't know what the I'm never mind. Earthnet. Getting away. Earthnet. <laughs> Earthnet. Um, we're just gonna hop back right into the scene we were doing. So, Fior. Yeah, you know, um, pressure. My, do you know how my dad is? He's always wanted me to, you know, it's hard to impress him, but I will find a way to impress him and I'll meet my destiny as the successor of our tribe. That's, that's the plan. So I totally understand, you know, how family pressures happen. Yeah. And Chiyu is going to look around just to like, see, like, to make sure that they're alone because they're they're really nervous <laughs> um, and uh, they're just going to say um, well I, I, I relate to all of what you said probably more than you think and um, and, I, and they're going to look up and look look at like look at him and say uh I need to tell you something that I haven't told anyone here, but it's important to me, and I guess for us, since we're going to be going. Um, My love, you can always tell me anything. I know, I know, I just... I, I didn't want this to be a whole thing. Like, I, I wanted to... Be someone different. Be, find who I am when I'm not associated with my family, if you know what I mean. Um, my parents... Mm -hmm are actually um and show you like pauses for a while and just like during, looks out during the pause uh Fiora reaches out and just grabs uh Choi's hand and just like and gives it a little squeeze really you can tell me anything I, I know I know I'm the heir to Amashu. I'm that young family. It's my family. The the heir, you said? Yeah. Like it's and they just sigh again and yeah, my parents, they, um, we, we were put in power, uh, after the Fire Nation left, and I'm an only child, and I'm supposed to take the throne, and I just, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, and I know, anyways, all this to say, I understand. <sighs> I understand, and it's just a lot of pressure, and... Going back is kind of scary, I guess. That's right, all. right. Um, the air. And at this point, uh, Fiora has let uh, Choyu's uh, hands go and just sort of just start scratching his back, uh, his neck. And it's like, the young air, you said? Yeah. Right, right. Um, Choyu's a nickname that I got. But I like it better. Right, right. I'm, I'm, I'm actually a little tired from earlier. I'm oh. gonna, I'm just gonna. I, I think it's just some stomach pains or the, the thing. Uh, are are I'm you gonna okay? Go, yeah, I'm, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm sorry if this news is too much. I didn't, I didn't want to hide it from you, but I, I, no, it's no, no, no it's. It's okay. It's it's totally fine. I'm I'm gonna go talk to Nimbia 
just see if she has some like oh meds. yeah that's, that's a good idea yeah I'll, she can heal anything yeah i'll see you later okay bye and just walks away just quickly stands up and walks away and goes straight to nimbia and choyu is just standing at the front of the ship watching as the sun disappears on the horizon and they reach down into their shirt and pull out this jade necklace that is around their neck that is usually hidden and they just like rub it between their fingers nervous as heck <laughs> uh fior is uh passing the twins um and there's Shozi probably on fire and yelling for the <laughs> and it's just like but Fior has a plan and it's just moving straight uh, to Nimbia and then uh, where would Nimbia be? Just trying to find you. In the kitchen cleaning up after the day and getting stuff prepped for the next day. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a knock on the kitchen door or whatever just there and you Fiora is just standing there in the doorway okay come have a seat something must be wrong you don't normally knock you into the room as if every place is your room come 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 have a seat I will put you some honey and some water because I know you do not like tea and just come have a seat Mm -hmm. yeah Okay. I. You, mm-hmm. you know, my dad, right? You know how he is. And at the mention of dad, Nimbia just wipes off her hands, whatever she was cleaning, and has a seat at the small table with leans for it. <sighs> The amount of meditation I had to do after meeting and dealing with your father. Pardon my French. No, I am not going to speak any other language. Pardon. Pretend I just cussed him out again. I don't want to give him that negative energy. Why are you talking about your father? Young. Gio is young. Is the air. Okay, and? Mike's birthday. Do you... My dad hates the youngs. Your dad hates many, many things that I really don't care about. But why is this making you hurt? It's just, it's... At this point, um, Fiora is just thinking for a moment and just like silently trying to figure out what to say. Let me let me tell you this. When I agreed to come with you in a boat, a boat that now is in the air, it was because I understand sometimes you cannot pick the family that you come from. Sometimes the family that you come from no longer exists, either because you want to separate yourself from them or because life makes the separation a necessity we have left that behind but he still weighs heavy on your mind why one of the things that he told me to do when when i wanted to when i wanted to take over he told me to make sure that I do something big to to impress him. This is what I will tell you. You put together a crew. You. You managed to put together a crew. And this crew works because everyone has realized that what they depend on who and where they are willing to go they chose you they chose you to follow and that was not because your father said it and uh, 
they all they none of them have left yet they have all stayed and no matter how not successful some things are or the struggle when you struggle to learn how to be who you are with a group of others who are learning to be who they are there's a new family that is formed because you struggle together and there's beautiful things at the other end but if you still let the words from the previous family that cause you so much stress that make you into a person that you are not actually it hurts your heart and there is no room there for others so are you going to listen to your heart and be the captain and grow into who you want to be for this ship are you going to listen to the words of a man who is not worth it forgive me that is your father but the words of somebody who is at his core as rotten as can be and destroy the new family that you have nimbia it's not it's not as easy as that i can't just abandon everything i know i i just can't i i don't really have a choice here If that is what you believe, that is what is going to be. And there is nothing that I can tell you that will change that. I have believed things to be and they happened. And it hurt my heart more what I had to lose. And that is why I am here because I believe in new beginnings and new families and why I have given up everything to follow you. But there are places that you can go that I will not father, will not follow, because your father, I could be working for him. I was, I do not. You need me to be a friend now, not a mentor, not a teacher. And as if I am not going to think about what was that that just blew up on the ship. Um, it's another airship passing us, but faster. Airship. <laughs> Real like, what is that? I, oh my god! As your friend, I will say I care about your heart. I do not care about your family. So, I trust you will make a right decision. Think on it. The big thing big that you do may not be the thing big that is expected. I mean. What do you want to tell me what is going on in your mind now? It's it's all just a jumble. It's it's I really do love Joy and mm. I want to keep them safe. <laughs> then you know what you have to do. Love is a beautiful thing. When I have loved in my life, the one thing I wish that I could go back in time, there's nothing else, is to feel what that is like. I am in the clouds all the time, my head, my body, and so on. But the only time I felt grounded is when my lover was here. They are not here anymore. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, I won't make... I won't make any rash decisions. Uh, I'll. I'll... <laughs> it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And Fior visibly shakes like himself and is like, it's fine. Uh, thank you for the honey and 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 this drink. Um, I'm I'm gonna go to bed. Mm. Um, I'm just gonna go to sleep. I think this would be the best plan. Uh, so thank you. You want something to help you sleep? I can make you. Unfortunately, it will be a tea, but I will put so much sweet in it that you won't be able to taste it. Perfect. That's okay. how I like my tea when I can't taste it. Yep. Oh, you will be okay. You're going to be a great captain. Every day it's better. Right, right. A leader. Mm. Make the tough choices. Mm. Okay, go to go to bed. I have to finish cleaning the kitchen and then I have to go. I have to find Cloud. He he is hiding again and I have not seen him for two days. 
Right, right. And uh, Fior just like slowly leaves. And before they completely leave, they turn to Nimbia and say, thanks. And just walks back to uh, the captain's cabin and goes straight to bed with eyes closed and ignores everything, including cat dog Yemma. Fair. Um, it's a couple weirdly tense days on aboard the ship uh, before the airship finally makes it through the mountain passes, away from the forest, and finally, in the distance, glimpses for the first time beautiful mountaintop city of Omashu with its large tiered cake-like foundation and the great wall surrounding it. Um, you can see that while a lot of the original brick and earthen structures of Omashu still persist, the Fire Nation irrevocably changed it under its control. And so there are more Fire Nation buildings, more metallic sided things. The uh, network of chutes and ladders, even at this distance, you can see the little dusty trails coming off of the, the carts that go up and down Omashu City, delivering various goods to the differing levels of it. And I think we find Fjord up surprisingly early this morning, wouldn't you say? Yeah, uh, yeah Fjord is up and about, and there's determination in his eyes. He is he he is cooking. Uh, he doesn't cook a lot, uh, but he knows a couple of dishes that is his favorite, and he knows how to cook them very very well, and it's delicious. Um, uh, and he is preparing this uh, this morning for everyone. Earlier than Nimbia, too. It's surprising. Interesting. So you, the rest of y'all sort of awaken, surprisingly, to delicious wafting smells and get that lilt under the nose of like, ooh, good cooking's happening. I... Just that warm, happy feeling of waking up to good smelling food that's still being cooked. And um, while Fior is uh, waiting uh, for people to, you know, just show up into the, the kitchen, um, he is packing up some food, um, another meal for later. He's packing it up. Uh, putting it away, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And waiting for people to just show up to the kitchen and have breakfast with him. Yeah. June wakes up to Shoza, like, shaking her. June. June. What? June. June. What? June. Why? June. I went into the, June, I went into the kitchen to get breakfast and Nimbia wasn't there and it was Fior and he was making food. The fuck? <laughs> I, I don't know, but if, but I don't know. Wake up! You got to get up! You got to see this! I don't. I've. I don't think I've seen anything like it before. All right! All right! All right! All right! All right! And she like ties her hair back up into its buns and gets out a notebook and writes down the date and writes Nimbia not up first. Fior made <laughs> Fior breakfast. Makes breakfast. <laughs> um, the shows up will literally like will jog to the kitchen like stopping to look behind them like waiting for june to catch up and then jog and then stop and look back and then like open the door and just like gesture to him i told you i don't know i don't trust it june show like hey. pokes her head in like just seeing the two the twins hey Josie, uh junso uh junso um i made breakfast you guys uh it's it's one of the things that i've always wanted to make uh show you and, and and i hope it's delicious um and then she uh they they take one of the bowls and just straight up eats it i think i did really well uh with it if you wanted to try it sure shows at you first Shoza, Shoza, who has never once like taken a breath while eating, like that kind of just ah, like is like, uh, and they they sit down and the the they they have like 
their own usual spot, like on the like bench that is a little more bowed than the rest of it. And they sit down and they, they take it and they eat it. Uh, and I, I mean, I'll ask Liza, is it good? Yeah. It's okay. Good. Yeah. So there's they- nothing there. It, um, Fior can only make two or three meals, but those <laughs> two or three meals, it is perfect. Yeah. Uh, so June, you just see Shoza take like a tentative bite and then, oh, and then just start shoveling it. Uh, knowing that Shoza will pretty much eat anything, um, which is why she has a journal about the things that Shoza can't eat, um, she's still going to like tentatively, like timidly take a small bite first. And then once she realizes it's good, just goes in as messy and like, <laughs> and excited as uh, Shoza. Cloth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. It's uh, it's one of my favorite meals that I learned from my um, my mom. She taught me how to really uh, cook that. When um, Fiora talks about his mom, Junsha will look a little bit sad, and she's like, because she understands, because like, that's where we learned how to make tea is our mom, and so. But yeah, I just like the the idea of like cartoon style. We're just like packing all this food in, you know. Did you see um, Nimbia and Choyu around? Um, I didn't see Nimbia and I didn't see Choyu. But didn't mm-hmm. you see Choyu when you woke up? Um, I woke up really early. Uh, uh, they were still in bed, so I was just wondering if they were early. awake. Uh, Shoza kind of leans into Junshan and says, He woke up really early? <laughs> <laughs> I- yeah, um, I had a revelation. So to say, oh. yeah, I feel you like be careful with those. Yeah. Nimbia, oh, you know. I'm just gonna say, Nimbia has gone to go get Choyu in a panic. <laughs> <laughs> she got up, heard someone in the kitchen, wasn't heavy enough to be Shosu. It wasn't heavy enough, and it definitely wasn't Junsho. <laughs> Went to go get Choyu. Something is wrong. Come with me now. Something. Is oh, wrong. Come what? With me now. What? 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 Your, your your partner is awake. Come with me now. I like look <laughs> in the bed, <laughs> and if yours not there, it does the little blinky outline of like an absence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 hundred yeah. percent. Come and- with me right now because I need someone that also loves him to keep me from doing something that might not be good if. This one has messed up my kitchen. So please, I need you not just for oh, care. Okay, okay, also- okay, okay. And I think I'm, I think <laughs> like, I think Choyu sleeps shirtless, um, but they do wear pants and they just throw on like some random robe mm-hmm. over themselves and just like pulls it closed and ties some belt or whatever. And they um, come and follow you. And their hair is like kind of a mess. <laughs> and and then you like, have Nimbia beside with like a hair tie and something else. Come, come, just fingers. Do you mind? I can help you pull it back just in case. No, it's 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 fine. It's fine. Just it's fine. Quickly, and it's just very expertly. It just kind of helps. It, we must look together. We must not look like we are in a panic in case it is some kind of you know character development that neither one of us were prepared for. I I was not expecting this growth. I was not expecting this growth. If they have. This is Me neither. That's very. Fear has been acting kind of strange lately, but eh, it's probably what? nothing. What do you mean here? Like, and when you say strange. Like, and, and then, like, I think we're, like, up on the deck at this yeah. point, and we see, or, like, I see that we've arrived in Omashu, and I think I'm just like, it's it's probably nothing. Don't worry about it. I, I, I worry sometimes because Fiora is learning how to be a person. Um, <laughs> and not just a son or a child or an offspring. Do you, do you understand what I am saying? He's yeah. learning who they are. Yeah, I get it. He's... I love him. A lot. And they love you so much. I have never seen this type of... Th- yeah, I have never seen this type of thing that is that is genuine, that is real. All right, but let's... 
Oh. Let's go see what he's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just peeks into the kitchen. I know. I, I imagine it's both of yeah. us going like this. It's like me on the bottom and <laughs> Nimbia's head on the top, <laughs> peeking around the corner. <laughs> my precious. <laughs> Is everything yeah. okay? Yeah. Uh, tell you, I made. This is this is you you seen me make this and I, I've I've wanted to make this since I found out. Oh, yeah. you made it for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's really great. <coughs> yeah, it's really great. Everybody, come on in. You're gonna love it. June Cho's mm. cheeks are just all like cheek chipmunk <laughs> <laughs> chipmunk cheek. <laughs> it's um. If you guys are wondering what it is, it is actually um beef uh sort of like it's a filipino dish called nilaga and it's Ooh. it's soupy beef and you eat it with rice um there's also veg there's also a side of vegetables in, in case people are you know vegetarian and i and so didn't know right so that that I'm is so it, it has uh, <laughs> it has corn it's nice and sweet and savory uh it's a oh, very yeah. nice soup i think like nilaga. like i think fiora's made it for choyu before and mm. they they just sit down and they they start eating. Yeah. I um, tell you, um, I actually wanted to ask you out on a special date. If you know, if you're willing to come with me. A special date? What do you mean? Just something for the two of us. Uh. Okay. Shazo sure. <laughs> looks at June the, the same face they always make when you two talk like this. Just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love it. You guys, um, aren't we supposed to meet that? What's his name? Den Denzo. 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 Right. That's today, right? We have to see them. Yeah. What? Would you be okay if um, Shoyu and I just went on our date and you met up with him? Wouldn't talk to. I mean, I would rather do that than like. I mean, I don't want to go on your date with you, so I'd rather do that one. <laughs> that that's great. Um. Yeah. I'll. Uh. You know, we can land. I know how to sort of run the ship. It should be fine. You know. Right. Um, Jun, Junjo, you showed me how to at least, you know, autopilot it. It's it's fine, right? Is, is that okay with you guys? I Where really... are you taking the ship? For, um, there's this really nice waterfall that I know in this area, and I want to oh, show that to show you. Uh, all, right, all right, but... Um, let me leave you some schematics on how to run the things, okay? Right, right, yeah, sure. Um, we we would uh, love we would love the schematics, Junsho. <laughs> and yeah. she ha- fully has like really basic like picture diagrams that she's made for shows like a Lego manual um, <laughs> for how to run things. Step and one. So she gives you those. <laughs> they're so they're so basic, and as soon as she hands them to you, shows is like, oh, good luck with those things. I couldn't even know. Or if you're like, yeah, this makes sense. It's okay. <laughs> get this. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I can do this. I can do this. Uh, we 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 got this. We got this. Um, yeah. So we'll land near um the Omashu, and then um we're gonna go on our date, and then Choyu um Fior looks at Choyu and smiles uh softly. And Cho Yu just gives the same soft smile back. Uh, although at this point, they are a little confused. They have a little bit of confusion behind their eyes because for the past two days, Fior has kind of been ignoring me. Um, and it's been a little weird and the energy has been kind of tense. Um, it has been very tense. Um, but they subconsciously reach for their necklace again and they... Just nod and say, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish eating this, uh, and I'll change, and then I'm ready to go whenever, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nimbia, uh, would you mind accompanying the twins just because, you know, 
we need a level head um, dealing with <laughs> Cut Bell, to, like, old scenes Reed, of us. I like, don't trust them. <laughs> burning shit down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> An unhinged <laughs> June show in her mech suit <laughs> shooting lightning out of her hands. <laughs> like, Nimbia has a cup of tea. Um, Nimbia also does not eat meat, but also doesn't eat before a certain amount of time. And it's just standing there impressed like no one's getting attacked for messing up her kitchen um it's just like i appreciate the maturity it takes to ask me if i will mind accompanying the twins because i i am glad that you know that i don't want to accompany you two that's i like I, of course i'm going to go with it's a wonderful decision that you have made, and I'm glad that you have considered where every person is supposed to. Um, yeah, I I do want to know logistically. Just leg- oh no, I do want to know why you need to take the entire ship to go see a waterfall. <coughs> It, it's just going to be faster. Uh, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a special waterfall. And um, really high up. <laughs> really high up. <laughs> oh, it's a very, okay, because I'm trying to figure out if you leave the boat to go see the waterfall, which is how you experience the waterfalls normally on a special date, who is going to be watching the ship? When you are not on it. We will be on the ship and then the waterfall will be right there in front of us while we're on the ship. They're going to look at the waterfall from the, they're going to be on the ship, but they're going to look at the oh, waterfall yeah. from yeah. above it. To yeah. down at it. That makes sense. I, uh, I, will, I, I just want to beat rush hour. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because there are so many other airships uh, <laughs> that are going to go see a waterfall. Um, if you just wanted private space, you only need to say, hey, we want some private space, and I would have taken the twins to go anywhere. Or I hey, I want them. some private space. <laughs> but I like the way that you have done it, because it's it sounds mature and captain-y. Uh, captain-y. <laughs> it is Nim- yeah, it's just kind of taken aback by all of it. It's abnormal. When you are ready to go, Junsho and Shoju, come get me. Fio, I hope you have clear skies today. As clear as I... As clear as can be. And I think at that moment, I've like finished eating, and I just get up and excuse myself to go change. Because I think I'm kind of cold. <laughs> <laughs> Not wearing much. <laughs> Shows a slides to use empty bowl over and looks in it. Well, that's uh, sh- okay, finished it. Yeah, there's, there's, there's I, I think there's a little bit left. I think there's like some, oh, some like oh. soggy carrots or something left at the bottom Shows of that. Shows goes for it, and then June show just like. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. You would think I don't feed you. Why do you always eat like I don't feed you? You eat so much food all the time, and then it's like. Okay, but what if it's. Have you thought about it? It's like a. I'm really excited about it. Mm. I want to get as much because it's so good. And if you I'm live with shows that your whole life, you would I eat can. quickly too. That's true. <laughs> we have talked about how small June Show is. And do you see why. how big I am? I was short oh. in my family. Well. This is why I know how to cook so much for you all. But you can eat out of your own bowl. Well, I, just, I didn't want to do the whole. I just thought that. <laughs> I just, they just it's, don't just, it's when we start to make new contracts with new people and we expand this whole branch because Fiore is being captain now. You have to know, even if they leave the food in the bowl, even if they leave it, you don't have to eat it. That is them being wasteful, not you. No, I guess it. We are family. We are comfortable. I just worry. I just worry when we go out and we're going to, we need to impress the people. They're like, Mm -hmm. oh, I left some food in my bowl. And you're like, Mm -hmm. okay, screw the contract. Give me that food because we cannot waste it. Right. If Shaza looks at June and they say, 
could you add um could you add clients food to the list of yeah, food cool. that i'm not supposed to eat she just quietly nods and pouts <laughs> I love you both so much. Maybe we can do something food, fun, and get something good. And oh, you know what? We can get the ingredients to make dumplings. And we can all make it today. I know you like to work with your hands. Oh, Shoza, like, Shoza gets up and just starts, like, collecting all of the empty dishes to, like, start cleaning. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) I want dumplings. Yeah, let's go. Come on. (laughs) Shoza is very food motivated, as we are learning. (laughs) Very food motivated. (laughs) And and then Bia just goes to get ready, but he just walks slowly, finds, for everyone wondering, Cloud is a black silky chicken that hides most of the time. And Cloud comes running from behind a barrel or something. And she just <laughs> picks up Cloud. Ah, there you are, my precious. Come, let's go get to brush. We are going on a trip today. Uh, and then continues on her way. Fair. I think we are going to jump a little forward in time to where Nimbia, Shoza, and Jinsho uh, are doing the handoff with Denzo, I think, if that's adequate. Um, before yeah. that, um, uh-huh. before that, uh, as they're leaving the ship, um, Fior does say to Nimbia, I made, I think I made the right decision. Nimbia had been like at higher spirits and even had left like this beautiful crafted, like blue jade bracelet, um, in Fior's room with the note. Sometimes you know they are the one. Um, and so at that point, when Fior says, I think I made the right decision, Nimbia pauses, frowns a little bit, and then continues walking um, and just looks at the sky and then looks at Fior. Be careful, it looks like rain. Yeah, I'll, I'll be careful. Cool. And then, yeah. Um, would anyone like to mess with Denzo? Like, because <laughs> in that case, I'll just cut to the end of the meeting after the transaction has been sort of accomplished. If there's no well, intent what's in of- the? I need to know what's in the chest. Yeah, what's first. in the chest? Yeah, we yeah, definitely what's opened in the it. box, right? Yeah, we definitely Jincho, opened the, it. AKA the most curious person on the planet will look yeah. in that chest. J- Jinsho, as you're walking to, you know, uh, the exchange, the tea house is across from a dumpling chime, by the way. Um, you you look in the box, and as you open it, the most beautiful, glowing golden light comes out of the treasure chest and you see what's in it and it's the most remarkable beautiful thing you've ever beheld with your eyes and then a hand slaps down on top of it hey and Denzo's there what are you thinking about are you thinking about stealing it I needed to know what it was well now you know okay Okay, but what? But really, GM, what is it? It's just uh, pretty. It's a, it's a MacGuffin. It's it's a uh, what is that movie? Pulp Fiction, Pulp glowing Fiction. light to that pull, no one ever sees. Pull the curtain back. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, and I never decided what was in the box being stolen. <laughs> so your answer is it is whatever you want it to be. <laughs> All right. Yeah. In that case, June Show says. Well, I couldn't figure out if it was useful. And so, no, I'm not planning to keep it. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, that's, that's really good. Anyways, here's your other half of the payment. Junsho <laughs> opens the bag and looks at the coins and then picks them up to double check they're all legit. It's about a half of a lot of coins. <laughs> <laughs> if only somebody was there to test it. I know. I <laughs> check it in their mouth. Shazi, do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> do what you saw our captain do. <laughs> Shazi just plunges a hand in and takes one coin out, but then looks at Nimbia. Ah, uh, <laughs> <do not laughs> <put laughs> from strange people in our mouths. 
I'm not supposed oh, to. Oh, so we're adding this to the list of yeah. things that shows yeah, shows I can't put in, put in their mouth. All right. Cool. Shows it just puts the coin back in the bag, put it on the list. Uh, Mr. Dinzo, I uh, or whoever, I am very, very. On behalf of our captain, we are thank you for to you for our exchange of going smoothly. Yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, where is your captain? Waterfall date. <laughs> okay, sure. Water, hmm? waterfall date. We did not waterfall? have to answer that question. Wait a minute. What do you mean? There are no waterfalls? No, we're like at the edge of a desert. There's like hardly any water near here. Like there's no like so- th- like fancy like fancy up in the sky. Probably up in like a it's, oasis. It's a, uh, it was, mm, thank you so much. Thank you. No, there's uh, no what. I it's good. We have sorry. To go. we have okay. To go. You, I I mean this is where you are. We twins. I mean oh yeah. It's we're twins with me. Yes. Thank yeah. You. I mean it's true. Yeah. Sure. Bye, Dunzo. Bye. <laughs> You can say this transaction is Dunzo. <laughs> Dunzo Washington. And as you're all walking. <laughs> Denzo Washing Little. There we go. <laughs> um, and as you're all walking away, a drop of rain hits Denzo's head and he just looks up. Did they call me Dunzo? And then we're just going to, um, you're probably looking around, I imagine, Nimbia. Uh, Nimbia is going to go to the dumpling shop and ask the twins to follow and say, excuse me, do you have a place in the back where someone could make their own dumplings? I'm going to put a handful of gold coins (laughs) <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll go in the welcome to Dumpling Chime. Uh, go go ahead in the back. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Have thank a great you. time. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've always dumpling. wanted to go into the back of a Dumpling Chime. It's so cool. Yes, yes, yes. I do all the cool things. Come, come, come. Shozu, my beautiful, wonderful, strong mountain. Mm. Can you yeah. please stand in front of that door for me? Oh, sure. <laughs> just just <laughs> answer, no question. <laughs> okay. How are you all feeling? You're good. You're feeling good. I'm still yeah. kind of full from breakfast. Oh, I that's... would love a dumpling, to be honest. And I will make you so many dumplings. Um, do you know how Cloud likes to hide? <laughs> but you also have seen where I will be making a chicken soup in the kitchen, and Cloud would just sit on the table and does not mind because yeah. Cloud trusts me and mm. knows that I will never put. Mm him in the cooking pot. Yeah. But Cloud does not trust other people because I have expressed to Cloud that there are very many other people who have cooking pots. Right, yeah. Okay. Sometimes you think someone will not put you in a cooking pot mm. and you trust them so much and at the core, their heart, their heart is so small still it beats but it is so small that they can be turned with the tiniest things Uh how do i make this analogy uh shoza you remember that time when i was trying to figure out how to reverse polarity on that piece of metal and i asked you to hold on to it real tight while i electrified it with lightning yeah Mm -hmm. and it hurt real bad but you trusted me yeah Mm-hmm. And you regretted trusting me? Every day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like that? Okay. Exactly like that one. Okay. Family is an important thing because sometimes family do things that you cannot stand and you let it go because you love them. But sometimes family does things that should not stand. Oh. And shows to- it whispers like dad. Oh, you see shows that get actually like dialed in and very serious at that. Mm. And you have to make a decision because you love them. Mm. Do Mm -hmm. not let their legacy and the world only be that. Okay. Who's the dad in this situation? I don't want any excuse for anybody in this circle to refer to Fior as daddy. 
ever. <laughs> Shows the nods. Yeah, that's fair. That's a good idea. Okay, we just all agreed on that. <laughs> well, I think, yeah. Mm-hmm. Boy, you can call me daddy. God. That's not- ah! <laughs> <laughs> There are no waterfalls. <laughs> there are no waterfalls in Omushu. Oh yeah, Den- Den- Denzo said something about that. So how far are they going? Oh, are they not going to be back until tomorrow? Hmm. Let me say this. To simplify it, the captain's father is a horrible person. The captain's father is the reason why I do no, no longer have my lover. However, like I said, sometimes you love people and they do things that should not stand. Fiora is learning how to be a person. Fiora is not a bad person. But the influences that they have had in their lives can sometimes make them do bad things. We have to go find the ship, which I think should be easy because this one over here is a mechanical genius and probably has ways of finding things. I will only ask this, Shozu, you are mighty, like a mountain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you hit Fior one time, Uh, they go through the floor. Oh yeah, I always tell them that. So remember, no matter how much the rage fuels inside of you, when you really put to into the practice in your mind what has happened, mm. temper the flames like you do when you are making the sparks. Yeah, okay. 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 No mech suit. No mech suit, but please do not get hurt because they have a gourd and there's like ice and there's a whole thing. Mm. So you can oh. stand behind me. Okay. I don't know what Fior is going to do. I know Fior was, wants to do something big. And long story short, their father daddy issues and then show you his solution to potential daddy issues. Daddy will say, oh, I like you now. And Fior will be like, I did something good for you. And it'd be a whole thing. Something bad is that. going to happen. It's yes. uncomfortable every time. Yeah, uh, something bad is going to happen. And we need to go mm. save Choyu because Choyu in this particular case, is not guilty of anything but being born with a family legacy that they did not choose. Okay. And at that, yep. we're going to hard cut to mm-hmm. the deck of the ship with like <laughs> your words lingering over, like mm-hmm. Cho Yu is not a bad person. Like cut to Cho Yu standing, you know, beside Fior, who is struggling but competently maintaining the ship's altitude and like figuring out how to run this whole thing yeah um so i actually kind of lied a little bit um there is no waterfalls in you know in omashu i know Uh, yeah i was raised here oh that's right (laughs) (laughs) the one um i actually um wanted you to um meet my parents Oh, uh, and uh, I was really? gonna take you there. Yeah, um, yeah. That's a big step. It is. It is. It is a big step. Um, and that's why I was, you know, struggling with it a little bit. Um, you know, I, 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 I I'm sorry about the past couple of days. I just, I know it's a lot of news. And whatnot. Yeah, and um, I I do love you, tell you. I love you too. And I want to keep you safe. I know. And this is I want this is how please, everything I do it's to keep you safe. I know. I would do the same for you, too. Okay. 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 Cool. And, um... Oh, 
Okay. Uh, well, go ahead and just relax in our uh, cabin. I'll take care of everything, and then I'll call when, you know, I'll, I'll call you when you um, when we're there. I guess. I are you sure you don't need help with? And I like point to the manual, which is open. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm good. I'm uh, uh, I'm really good. Uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like you need to um, rest. I am tired. <laughs> yeah. Best um, foot forward, I guess. What What about the other three? They are they gonna be okay in a mo- like you told them, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted to keep it a surprise, so I, I didn't tell them in front of, you know, uh, I didn't tell you, uh, you know, they know, they know where to find me, where to find us. Okay. They know, yeah. And, um, at that point, Nikki, how would Jun Sho find them? <laughs> uh, by, um, climbing onto Shoza's shoulders, um, and standing, and then she takes out, like, her little telescope thing and then looks around to see it where they're docked. <laughs> uh, they are flying, not docked anywhere, but flying with a clear course, uh, south-southwest. GPS tracking. <laughs> Find my iPhone, but it's my ship. <laughs> uh, Find my so airship. They're going somewhere. Um, do we need to stop them somehow, Nimbia? Which direction are they going? Southwest. Like, and this would be if this was like censored. Beep, 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 beep. beep. <laughs> just yeah, Nimbia. Yeah, just yeah. going up. And just, oh my god. This the fool. The f- uh, we need to be very nice to people and find a way to get to um, where I am, where Fior is from. That is where we're going. Uh, can we find some like um, I don't know, like something we can fly on, uh, like animal maybe, or um, that we could like rent. Now that we have all this money, GM. Or a small ship. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, how big is our ship? I know, like, we've kind of been talking about it in a nebulous way. How big yes. is this ship? <laughs> I'm going to answer that with big enough. <laughs> enough. Cool. Perfect. Well, I pictured the, um, you know, the water tribe boats that the, um, that they were, tra- that the dad, uh, Katara and Sokka's dad were traveling around in? Yeah. Like that, but then I... I have outfitted it with some kind of flying apparatus. Sorry, could you repeat that again? So it's like the the water tribe boats, you know, the ones that yes. um, Katara and okay, Sokka's yes. dad traveled in. But yeah. I've I've equipped it. We've added a balloon, basically. Yeah, that makes total sense. Um, gosh, there are not a lot of flying animals that can function as like mounts that aren't like those pirate are there pirates with ships of their own that like we can steal mm. or you can use your like jetpack powers that the show decided that firebenders just have jetpacks <laughs> there are a couple <laughs> options there's that you're also a technical genius, kind of, with wizards and gadgets and who's it's and what it's, you know? Yeah, but all my equipment realm... is on the ship. <laughs> Would it be out of the realm of possibility to have a grappling gun for you? No, that would not be out of the realm of possibility. Okay. That would be in her duffel, because that would track... I'm sure we've gotten into all kinds of shenanigans that would require a grappling gun. Um, and, some, and someone has tried to steal our ship before. That's something that we've Yeah, prepared. I feel like that definitely has happened. Yeah. yeah. So. so let's cut to the three of you having run as fast as you can to the top of the nearest mountain near to the ship. 
you're able to get out your grappling hook and make a shot at the ship. Do you want to roll for that? Sure. And then I'm going to assume that... That's a six. Okay. Uh, What's that with... Choose a skill, Ted. I chose creativity. Creativity? Yep. All right. What's that add to it? Six. That was with the creativity. Okay. Good to know. That works out well enough. Let me roll again. Yep. That works. Okay. You are able to latch on and get the shot attached to the ship first time. Are you clapping? Uh, I... Shows he climb up, shows a climb up. Uh, yeah, I would I would imagine that Shoza would grab June because as soon as that grappling hook hook connects to the ship, they would she would start moving. So Shoza grabs her and then like reaches out a hand to Nimbia. So y'all are linked up. Double check. Yep. Okay, the grappling hook is able to pull you towards the ship, and you are able to get on deck. Just as soon as you see Fior locking their cabin. Yep. Uh, so um, Fior follows uh, Choyu as, you know, Choyu decides to go to their cabin. and Like, then, oh yeah, I'll take a nap. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, as soon as Choyu is inside, um, Fior locks the cabin from the outside. Yeah. And turning, you hear a thump on the deck as three individuals you're very familiar with stand there. Um, what's up? What you up to? What you What are you doing? Just like dozens so far. You almost, uh, you almost forgot us, but what? What's up? Why are you? How the done dead Denzo guy do? Yeah, you do not care how what happened with the Dinzo. You probably did not even know how much money exactly we would be getting, but only that the gold did not taste bad. <sighs> Ooh. She got you know I am here. No, I, I don't know why you're here. How long have I known you? Mm, since I was born, I guess. I am going to give you the opportunity to tell us what it is that you are doing because there are no waterfalls in Omoshu and you are leaving, going towards the place that I know where you are going. Um, and in this, you see if you're sort of getting restless and it's just like, Nimbia, this is for the best. This is, this is the only way I can protect them. This is the only way. Protect them. And who? just like, Brings out the the gourd mm-hmm. and just sort of like creates a a wall of ice um, there. I shall fear not this man. Just it is- please, and starts pushing you guys uh, with the with the ice wall to over the edge. Try to like push you guys. Shows a shows a. Like rubs their hands together and then just presses like with all of their strength against the ice wall and also like is just like creating heat, sort of like diminishing it slowly, not not dramatically, but like essentially like bending against your bending. That basically, uh, Fiora is just trying. Like Fiora fully believes that you will be able to survive a fall off the airship. Because you have Nimbia and, you know, you guys are strong. She just wants you, like, he just wants you guys off so that they can fly to that. That is the brain pattern that Fiora is at right now. Okay, so. And it is also very loud, Choyu, by the way. Choyu, can you say something so that we know you are here? I was muted. Um, I think uh, after I walked in, you know, I was all like, oh, I got to take a nap and maybe I can read a little bit. And, you know, (laughs) Um, and uh, but I hear the door lock behind me 
I'm assuming I I don't know what kind of door is it, but like the big like wheel turny thing. I don't I don't know what kind of door it is, been but locked ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A really bad sound. Um and so I think like in that moment as like Fiora's turning around as the other three have arrived, um I uh turn around to the to the door and I'm just trying to like look out to see what the hell is going on because now I'm really confused and I feel like something is very very wrong but I don't quite understand what is happening at the moment um but I hear my oh go ahead no I was just about to say what you're saying oh yeah so what I hear my name uh and is there like a window in this door or no I think for the cabins, Captain, there'd be windows on the sides and back, but not facing the front of the ship necessarily. No, there's a peephole. Yeah. Okay, yes. so I'm I'm gonna look out uh, like on the door, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna look out the um, look out of that, and after I hear my name, I'm just like, I'm in here. I I can't open the door. I don't know why. I'm in here. Because Fuyoi is a liar who still cares about what their daddy thinks. And then she says, <laughs> You don't understand. He, they're dangerous, okay? I and understand. This is the that. only way I can protect Toyu, okay? This is the only way. By Shh, walk me through this. Walk me through how are you supposed to be protecting Toyu by going back home to the places that want the Toyu? They're going to find them anyway. Okay? And then, you know, as they say this, they're just like throwing uh they they throw an ice whatever ball at Shoji because they're melting the ice wall. Got it. Uh when that happens, Junsho is going to block it. Cool. Cuz you don't so you don't throw shit at my twin. They're they're, <laughs> they're just throwing stuff at everybody mm-hmm. now. And just okay, I think I think at this point, as my two like hot hands essentially have like created two circles uh, within the ice, like melting through it, um, and those circles are getting large enough to like connect essentially into a larger circle. I think shows is just gonna like haymaker like fire punch uh, through like that weak point in the wall. Um, yeah, and yeah. I got I would I what would I add to it? I don't think we're doing sort of ads right okay, now. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah, so it shows it just punches through it. Uh and then like I think um it's enough like that it like shatters kind of like a human width uh through it and shows a like now it's now it's done. Like shows a has seen enough to know like what's going on and they don't like it and so now they are like just walking towards Fior like the big just hulking firebender um seeing this uh Fior uh sort of dashes um to the dashes away and is like forming an ice uh sort of like a giant ice a spear or something like a whatever it's something sharp and mm-hmm. is aiming it at the um at where uh Junsho usually is you know running the um running mm-hmm. the the thing so that's where um Fiora is like aiming it it's like please don't make me do this i just i just really need to protect them please Nimbia has been watching and as this is going on in this time period and hearing this and Fjord's justification and everyone is fighting and so on, you notice that the clouds are getting darker. Like there is like this looming kind of shadow as she just stands there with her hands beside her, taking deep breaths and just asks, almost pleadingly, Fjord, I was here when you came. I was here and it is because you came and the struggle that happened in your love for this woman who is amazing that I said, I will protect you. Do not make me fight you today. Mm 
Fior throws the ice uh, thing towards that area that is unprotected just to and destroy yep. it. Yeah, go ahead, Jay. Um, so I think as all of this is happening, um, I, and I'm assuming you're, it's the clouds are making it hard to see up here too, yeah? No, yeah. it's over the boat. Over, okay. Dark mm-hmm. clouds are gathering. Um, I see, uh, you hear like a rumbling sound from the mountains that we are passing. And um, just a lot of rocks start levitating all over like the side of the ship. And um, they're not aiming at any of you, um, but they form like little shards and they're going to try and break down the door. Um, and I think like they slice through it in like this really like traumatic like, and then like you see like all this dust um, and it's and it's just me standing there as sort of the dust settles. Um, and I shout uh, over to Fior and I say, um, Fior, I don't know what you are doing, but please don't hurt them. I'll go wherever you want me to go. I, 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 I don't know what's going on, but don't hurt them. Come here. Oh. oh my god, I have told you, you don't have to take whatever this one gives you. This one is literally trying to give you over to people that don't want you to exist or whatever. And he's, he's not, everything is not clicking. They think this will protect you. Junsha I... sees like that her stuff is now destroyed and like lets out this blood curdling complete scream and then looks back at Fior and you watch as her hair like any hair that's not currently tied down starts to um kind of Whoosh. get loose and Uh-oh. staticky Uh-oh. and she looks like like Shoza knows this is like sensory overload she's about to have mm. a meltdown do, do, I will get oh jeez we have to be on the air for this. You couldn't have tr- tried to do something. Shows it. Shows it. Uh, shows it. Who has like kind of gotten pretty close to Fior and now uh, turns from that kind of like lumbering giant who's going to punch a hole in you. Uh, immediately, soft, softer face, softer expression. Looks over to June Show and then sees uh, Nimbia. Mm-hmm. Um, and Shoza says, um, "He." Uh, he he's all yours and uh shows a turns and runs over to mm-hmm. to june and just like stands between june show and fior with like just her hands gently resting on her shoulders like trying to like make eye contact and just kind of very quietly starts this sort of it's not specific words but it's a kind of like speaking method uh that their mother used to use to kind of like bring june down a bit um but is and like as soon as uh their hands touch uh june show that same electric uh kind of like feel like all the hairs like kind of stand up a bit um fior's hands is uh reaching towards uh choi at this point and is asking them to come with him I think Choyu is just frozen in the doorway I think I think everything that is going on is finally Mm -hmm. dawning on them because like I think yeah they're finally realizing like what Fior was planning on doing and they're just completely paralyzed. Like, they don't know what... They're not moving. They're not doing anything. Um, but you do hear rumbling. I feel like there's, like, mm-hmm. freaking like, avalanches and shit happening in the mountains around us. Like, I just... But I am paralyzed. Um, I don't know what to do. 
Nimbia is just looking at Fjord and just looking and just looking at Fjord and just says, Do you know? I have always told you, oh, your father, he made a decision that made me lose the love of my life. But did I tell you that he knew? Did I tell you that he knew and he made the call that took the person that I loved more than anything in this world away from me? Did you know that he knew? This was because he wanted it. And now you are saying that you love someone, but you are going to give him another piece of someone's heart. You are stand down or I will take you down today. I will nurse you back to health if I have to, but I will not let that horrible person take another piece of someone's heart. You just see Fior. the energy just grow, just generating around. Fior is hands. looking at uh, Choyu and Nimbia, the two person that he cares most about and realize how badly the whole situation has happened and just says, I'm sorry. And throws more ice towards the, um, the area that would cause the ship to crash. And then you just see a hand, her, she moves her hand up and she brings it down as if she's calling something from the clouds. And it starts with just a rainfall that increases slowly, slowly, concentrated over fewer. And then with a gentle manipulation of her hands starts to cause those rain shards to turn to ice and start to group together. And I'm going to be doing um, a Advance and attack. Uh, That's okay if yours not defending themselves. You still. Uh, Fair enough. And to use a smash, knowing exactly because she's experienced enough force with the hill to never to knock a fewer out if she can. But it's just this, this swirling sort of ice storm of hail around Fjord. This is what I have said to you. I will not allow his hatred to destroy your love and just whoosh, brings down the ice, the chunk of ice on Fjord's head. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to say that Fjord's knocked out cold. <laughs> I think so. I, I think from there, the most prescient moment is that now the ship is kind of screwed. And I, so I think Shoza is just now starting to sort of like help June show, like breathe through this sensory overload, start to connect. And Shoza's like, you gotta, you gotta pull out of it. Cause if you don't, the whole ship's gonna crash. I know everything's broken, um, and I know that none of this is um, good. But I mean, I I need you, June, because I mean, we I can't fix all this stuff on my own. She takes one of those, you know, like when you've been crying too much and you have that <gasps> thing. So she does that, <laughs> goes like this, and then immediately just starts running around the deck, putting things back together, putting things in Shoza's hand. Um, saying, looking at Chuyu and being like, I'm sorry, I, I know that you're upset right now, but we gotta get, we don't want to crash, so here, and like starts handing things to everybody to try to like get the ship righted. I think actually Chuyu, after Fior passes out, I think they're gonna go run to him. And what did they do? And I just want to make sure that he's okay, and I think th they are just crying and asking him, like, why Why would you do this? Just And trying to drag him, like, back into the cabin, I think, because I think Cho Yu 
has a feeling this thing is going to crash, but they want to get him inside. And then their, their plan is to try and do some like earthbending shit to prevent this thing from completely blowing up somewhere. <laughs> you just, uh, Nimbia is taking deep breaths, but is silently crying, but you really can't tell because there's just been a light rain that continues. Um, and she just takes a deep breath and takes another deep breath and then bows her head. Um, she wears this beautiful bracelet again. Hers is it's white jade and she just touches it and just is taking deep breaths and just murmurs very quietly. I am so sorry for failing. And then looks to Junshu. What is it that you need me to do to help? And she just like rattles off all the things they gotta do to get the <laughs> ship going. It's like, oh my god, okay, but put this in the language that I can understand. I don't know what a capacitor is. And then she <laughs> she then she gives the same directions yeah. she would give Shoza. Okay, okay. Hold to- this! <laughs> Pull put- when I say go! <laughs> okay, okay, I understand. You didn't have to put the steam buns on the very lowest shelf. I was just saying, maybe less technical. <laughs> um, helping out where she can and pushing back her own emotional breakdown to later. <laughs> I have an idea slash a question. If you will allow Choyu to possibly help out also. Um, yeah, I think I think I want to pick up Fior just like, what's this, bridal style, like in my arms and carry him into the room and just like I'm kind of in a rush, but I lay his body down on the bed so that he's, like, safe. I, like, drop him there. <laughs> and I want to run out to the, um, the bow is the front of the ship, right? I run out to the bow of the ship, and I think for the first time, because I've pretty much hidden my earthbending capabilities, I think you all knew that I could earthbend, but not to this extent. Um, I want to try and, like, reshape a mountain to be like a little landing zone that we can like crash land on (laughs) like make a thing that we can like slide on so that we don't actually crash is my goal and as the crew goes around with Shoza and Nimbia doing the things that Junsho told them to do fixing the ship uh, stepping up to the front of the ship, show you just carves a gentle piece of the mountain out that the ship slowly descends and notches into. And I think that is the final shot of our first episode of this. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this stream that's been mildly riddled with technical issues. If you're still watching and if you've been here, we appreciate it. Uh, I'm a good yeah. person. Glyze <laughs> is a great person. Glyze we, love, we love Glyze <laughs> so <lot>. much. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to go round Robin and give our little outros and give our little thanks. Um... And then we're going to do a stars and wishes after this off stream because woo boy. (laughs) But uh, yeah, I'm your GM, Riley. I did so much this episode. You can tell because I was silent for almost the last hour. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yeah, I'm on Twitter and Twitch. Riley Gritch, G-R-Y-C. And that's how you can find me. I didn't intend for all that to rhyme, but hey, there we go. Next person. How about we go with uh, Gliza? Yo, yo, I am Gliza, and this is the first time I've ever played a sort of villain. Am I a villain? I don't know. But I had a really great time. I am a podcaster. I am a writer. I'm a TTRPG player. Uh, Follow me everywhere at bio.link forward slash classical Gliza. Thanks for having me. And um, it was really fun. Uh, I had such a good time exploring Fior with y'all. <laughs> yeah. Honey, how about you go next? 
Hello everyone, thank you all for tuning in and being such wonderful participants because every stream is successful because they have chatters in there that love the content, no matter how many or how much. So thank you all for sticking around. Thank you all for having me. I am Honey, aka Honey and Dice. You can find me on Twitter at Honey and Dice. You can find me on Instagram at Honey and Dice. There's just nothing there. I didn't want anyone to take the name. Um, <laughs> up there and see what I do, but if I can leave you all with only one thing before the end of the stream is to remind you all, which was a constant theme through this, and I think it will be throughout this whole game, to love your you. And if that's hard today for whatever reason, know that it's okay, because it's okay to be okay, and it's okay not to be okay. Surround yourself with people that celebrate your successes and support you through your challenges. And if they're not there or they're only there, they're in one of those situations, they weren't there for you to start with. But I want to be there for you. So you are wonderful. This world is an amazing place simply because you exist in it. And I wish this stream, the episodes, and future streams the best of luck. Thank you all so much and have a wonderful rest of your day. Ah! <laughs> Else, how about you go next? Oh, yeah, sure. No, I'll just follow that up for sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, my name is Ellis Smith. You can find me at Hecvetica on Twitter, where I talk about TTRPGs and UI UX design. Um, yeah, this was an absolute pleasure. Um, I'm very curious to see uh, where everything picks up next episode. Um, and yeah, just a, a thank you to all of my fellow players and to RGM because this was uh, excellent. And Jay? Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Jay or Nala. Either is fine. Uh, you can find me on the interwebs as uh, at Nala Draws on any social media I might have. And then on Twitter, my Twitter main is at Nala Wu. Uh, I am a professional illustrator, um, and I do character art and concept art and like all that fun shebang stuff. I did the art that was used for the promo of this game, which was a lot of fun. Um, and I also do sensitivity reading, cultural consulting, voice acting, and a lot of other stuff. Um, I had so much fun. Um, and I cannot wait for all of y'all to see what happens in the rest of the episodes but um thank you for coming and whew, wow <laughs> and nikki how about you bring us on home all right um i am nikki and i use she her pronouns i am half of um the co-creators here at ttrpg on tuesday we have our last episode of midnight hour our um the between um uh, uh live show um they we are going to fight a striga um so that should be fun and also creepy and scary and i live for creeping caleb out so please tune in for that um and then on the on saturdays we have the rest of this show until february um and then on the 23rd which is a sunday we have um dragon day which will be from 10 a.m to midnight uh that specific time uh, we'll have three uh live stream games and two uh, miniature episodes of ttrpg the talk show um it's gonna be super fun we're gonna raise money for um, the children children's burn foundation and celebrate gliza's birthday because she truly is a very good person and nothing like fior um <laughs> <laughs> and wow. yeah that's it cool all right thanks y'all thank have you have a great rest of your day <laughs>